Hi, I'm Matt from Production Audio Video Technology in Australia and in this video we'd like to demonstrate for you three different types of microphones commonly used in a conference room environment. There are a range of microphones that are available for conferencing environments. So when considering which to use, we're often asked, what's the range of this microphone or what's the coverage or the pickup or similar? You won't find a coverage specification on a microphone data sheet uh, as the acceptable coverage pickup uh, depends on a number of factors including uh, the noise level in the room that you're in, uh, the level of ref reflections in the room, and to a large extent, uh, what you consider to be acceptable quality audio for your purposes. So we hope that this video provides a useful subjective comparison so that you can make uh, more informed choices about conference room microphones. Our environment for this demonstration is Production Audio's boardroom in Melbourne. Uh, it's a pretty average conference room, measures 5 metres wide by 7 metres long, and it's got a, an average noise level of about 36 decibels and a reverberation time somewhere in around about half a second. So it's fairly common. Um, the rack-mounted equipment, which is over in the corner of the room, is the dominant noise source in here that you'll hear throughout the demonstration. The first microphone is an Audix MG15 gooseneck microphone. Uh, it's connected to an ATS table base. And the capsule on this microphone is a cardioid directional type, meaning it's intended to uh, pick up preferentially sounds at the front of the microphone and reject sounds coming from the back. So in that way, um, it's intended to be positioned quite close to a talker, in my case about 25 centimetres, um, and obviously aimed at the talker. And that way we can pick up as much as possible of the wanted sound um, and reject as much of the noise coming into the back as possible. The next microphone is an Audix ADX60 boundary type, which you can see to my right. Um, it's intended to be placed on an acoustical boundary surface such as a table. Um, this microphone is also a cardioid directional type, so again, uh, preferentially picks up sounds from the front and rejects sounds from the back. It's a little bit further away from me. Uh, we've kind of replicated a, a one between two placement, so it's roughly at about arm's length um, and would probably be shared with the next person along the table. Becoming increasingly more common in modern conference rooms is ceiling microphones. Our one is the Clear One ceiling microphone array, uh, which actually contains three cardioid directional elements, each one notionally 120 degrees wide to achieve 360 degree pickup. The microphone itself, as you can see, is suspended below the ceiling, so it's intended to get as close as possible to the conference participants. And with all ceiling types, though, you can see that it's much further away from me uh, than either the gooseneck or the boundary. So, of course, we're picking up a lot more of the room noise and room reflections. Here we'd like to provide a simultaneous comparison of all three microphones. So what I'm going to do is just speak a sentence and it'll be recorded simultaneously and we'll play them all back uh, one after the other so you can hear the difference between all three. This is a test of three typical conferencing microphones. This is a test of three typical conferencing microphones. This is a test of three typical conferencing microphones. So in conclusion, the variables that we have to play with in terms of affecting microphone performance are the ambient noise level in the space, the level of acoustic reflections in the space, and the distance from the microphone to the talker. So because ambient noise level and acoustic reflections can only really be modified by acoustic treatment of the room, the only variable that we have to play with is the microphone to talker distance. So really the rule is, the closer the better. So we hope you found this video interesting. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at our website, productionaudio.com.au.